Hey, for the heads up about the Washington Elementary School District, they just told 12 News they had no involvement in the removal of a school resource officer. This coming two weeks after that officer, Jesse Martinez, posted to Facebook that he wanted to clean up drug paraphernalia at the campus. Team 12's Colleen Sakor is live with us in Studio 12A following this story. Colleen? Yeah, guys, from every... Thanks for First at four, should employers be able to punish you for what you post online? You could vote right now at 12news.com slash bullhorn or do so in the 12 News app. Now we're asking because the principal in Washington is now on leave because of her. So the principal has apologized for the post, but this raises a larger question. Should you be on the hook for whatever you post online? You can take a look at our bullhorn below. 100% of the people weighing in early this afternoon say no. Now you can move the meter. You see it moving right now. Just go vote right now. 12news.com slash bullhorn. Well, first and four, kidnapping service. Now, Smart and her foundation will be starting self-defense classes for women tonight. The FBI says sexual assaults on flights are rising at an alarming rate, up 66% in just three years. You know, when she was doing this interview and exposing what had happened to her last year, she was saying that, you know, she was asleep at the time, and even when she woke up, he was still rubbing between her legs. It's terrifying. I don't know how you put yourself in that situation mentally. Like, I, I don't know what I would do in that environment. Yeah, she was I would shocked. freeze up too. Exactly. And and that's the thing. I mean, you're just in disbelief that the audacity mm -hmm. that this is happening in public. Good for her for, for doing something about it instead yeah. of just sort of soaking in her own right. feelings uh, and, and actually trying to help too. other people. Yeah. All right. We got some breaking news to get to you guys. Gilbert Colby Theater will play host to the movie industry's top talent. And afterwards, there will be, I don't know, what do you call them? Festivities. Between 12's Mark Barter has a preview. Ooh, we can't wait for that. Now, Jane Fonda, Natalie Portman, Will Ferrell, Spike Lee, Chris Rock, Gal Gadot, and Tom Hanks, they are among the scheduled presenters. I just recently, finally, watched The Joker. Mm -hmm. Wow. Is it that good? It was so powerful. It was so sad. Now, is that was, the only Best actor. Picture nominee that you've seen? Yeah, sadly. So I don't I, go out much. It's like a tradition for me that I've seen one every year. I don't yes. go out of my way to see the Best Pictures. I should. I realize that. I've only seen The Irishman. Uh, it's oh. three and a half hours and then some. Did you love it? It was pretty great. Yeah, my husband liked that a lot, too. Yeah, so we'll see what happens. I've got one dog in the fight. Okay, yeah, me too. And I can't even, I can't think of his name. Joaquin Phoenix, that's yeah. it. Okay. One and the same. Oh, my yeah. mom Nisha. Exciting Lindsay Riley. <laughs> you know when it's going to warm up out there? Do we even care when we're basking in oh. 60s and 70s? You know what? It'll warm up out there next week because then we're going to have a big trough in the jet stream out west. And we have some unsettled weather of our own. But let's talk about the weekend. Yay. It's the weekend. U.S. for men and women. So that's why all three of us right here, we are sporting our red to just help raise the awareness. But it's not just us. I mean, all across the board, pretty yes. much, all of our, you know, newscasters, they're yes. all donning red. Yeah, if you go on social media, you'll see pictures and the hashtag, yeah. dozens of them. Mm -hmm. It's one day, but it makes a difference. Exactly. Just to put it into our consciousness. Yeah. Get you talking. The word pet. Is it derogatory to your animals? I, I almost said it with a straight face. Sorry. Okay. Well, a spokesperson apparently for PETA in the UK says... Yes. Just a few minutes. In the meantime, um, one has to wonder what prompts someone from PETA to say something like this. Like, I, I, Listen, I'm all for the ethical treatment of animals, but there is definitely a line. And I feel like maybe they're just trying to get their name in the news. And Publicity. congrats if that's the case. You've done it. Yes. Proud of you. I think... Actually, now, I don't know. We've, we've had so many stories like this before where you're just thinking, where did they come up with this? How can a word be derogatory when the animal doesn't understand the word? There's well, no just, way that your dog at home knows what pet means or what it though. implies. Yes. I mean, seriously, I, we'd love to hear from you, but I'm going to still keep calling Presley my pet. She's also a family member. She could be a companion, yes, a carer, a fur baby, it, whatever. Yes. Above. But but pet is just sort of like an overarching general term. Right. I digress. Somebody tell me I'm wrong. I'm happy to read your response live on the air. Yes, but will you respond? No. Yeah, his bar is set very high. Winning that title at age nine in the 10 group, I think it's gone to his head a little bit. That no, is I'm incredible. Kidding. Okay, well, <laughs> as it should. I mean, look at how much he's accomplished. And also, I saw him lift weights. There was like video what of him. What were you looking at me for when you did that? Right? Well, 
Maybe. Maybe he could teach you a wow. couple of. Mm. Make but self-conscious. he is so incredible. And to think that he's got scholarships on the way. Yeah. He's only 13. He's just a kid. I mean, he's got the right he's attitude set. though. And all this media exposure now, even though I'm sure it's overwhelming for a 13-year-old, will set him up for success if he does end up at that level, whether it's, it's the Olympics or in the NFL. All of this exposure will do wonders for him. A lot of us are rooting for him. He's fantastic. Go Bunchy! Yes! I love that name, too. A little nickname. Rated. Flowers. Two things immediately come to mind. One of them is flowers because they die. And also, um, I'm much better at remembering the flowers that uh, my significant other doesn't like as opposed to the ones she does. And so you, oh. you get them confused, and then it's just a nightmare gift all the way around. Also, what a racket from the flower companies this time of year, jacking up their prices, double, triple, quadruple. Can we talk about this? This isn't fair to us. It's not fair, but that's why, I mean, that's business. They're always going to jack it up business when cards everybody going for wants. Eight bucks a pop now? Yeah. Come on. Gosh. I'm sorry, I'm getting all worked up. Uh, chocolate I would hope be your the lucky other lady uh, approves or. Nobody's getting flowers this year. Chocolate, though, uh, chocolate would be the other one. Because yes. I'm always on a diet this time of year. I don't want your chocolate. Not get your guesses fall in. The holidays? No, we'll get the answer to you in the next half an hour. My dog doesn't care about what I call her as long as food is involved. You got that right. All right, Jim Same from Phoenix here, <laughs> says. Pet is a derogatory term derived from Petri dish. It's like calling your companion bacteria. Disrespectful in all caps. Is that true? I don't know. We need to verify. I have never heard that before. They're not pets. They're people. Wow. Well, they're not people. They're animals. But uh, Martha out in Sun City says, how stupid can people get? The crazy's definitely on the loose. I have one more I got to squeeze in here, Producer Jeff. This one from an anonymous viewer. The fact that you put it on the news is dumber than the comment. I'll raise you one. The only thing dumber than that is that you commented and honestly about our comment about the dumb story. Now what do you think? We're done commenting. Huh? Thanks for those comments, everyone. <laughs> Keep sending us more of your comments to 602-444-1212. We'll be reading some more coming up on First at 4.30.